Alright, what's going on everybody? It's Maple Leaf Matthew here, and welcome to the first installment of Let's Play Wild Arms. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the third video of, well, of Tuesday today, of the, um, of the thing I'm doing, three-year video marathon, where I make three videos a day. Yesterday I didn't, I forgot to hit you guys up with the third video, but, had no fear, I will record a fourth video on one of these days. Anyways, it's 6 o'clock currently right now, so I'm going to go ahead and record my last video for today. This is the first file, which is mine. So here we go, start a new game. We're going to start off with either a wandering youth, a treasure hunter, or a girl from an abbey. Which is like a church, or no, like a church, like, like, like a little home, like a girl's home, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, we're going to start off with a wandering youth, obviously. All right. Love is gradually fading from the land. Slowly but surely, the destruction of Philgea continues. A devastated environment filled with ferocious monsters plague the people of Philgea, who desperately try to cling to their land. God damn. Holy shit. Those who dare to venture out are called dream chasers. There is a boy in the village of Surf. It's hard to believe that this boy has the potential to become a dream chaser. What does he seek? Come on a day, kid. Thanks a lot. The battle's all sorted. I hired you at the recommendation of my mayor Potter. You turned out to be okay. By the way, what's your name? We have to name ourselves Rudy. ourselves Matthew obviously Matthew you're stronger than you look the horses seem happy here's today's pace sorry kid this is all the village can afford you should see if the mayor has any more work for you thanks again see ya what the fuck can you like guys only afford a goddamn fucking oh, 17 dollars wow well, apparently I... that's 17 dollars right there I just found 17 fucking dollars in a goddamn barrel. You guys need to clean your shit out more often. Let's see, what else is there? Is there? Get out of the way! Power apples, wait. I think I might save up my power apples, just in... No. You know what? So basically, what the game... The... Oh. So basically, the thing about this game is that it's got many, 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 many items. Many items. Uh, great input, dude. Doggy. There should be an item here. Yeah, he'll be very sweet. Chicken. And he'll be very sweet. separate at the beginning and come together towards the third boss of the game. And then you stick together through the entire game. Ah, uh, Matthew, uh, I don't think so. You're all the stables are in great shape. Take these as a token of my appreciation. Why don't I find these bombs while exploring ancient ruins? You may find them handy. We got our first tool. Oh, the tools. Not the tools, but yeah, yeah. It's just telling you about just what you need to find. So basically, the tools are... Um, each character has four, I believe. Nice to my house. Uh... Ow. Fuck you. Oh, a child! 
have escaped from the fucking village, my god. The bear cave is full of monsters. There's not much we can do. I must talk to the townsfolk about the situation. Please keep this guy. They kind of pick up I'm gonna go tell everyone to have See ya. Hey, who are you? My husband tells me that you've been working hard. You must be tired. Your bed today. You wanna take a rest? Hey, good night. Hey, okay, I'll take a rest. Zzzzzz. I've never really understood why it's zzzzzz. Okay, to the south, it's full monster here. Oh, dear. So basically, that is your inclination to go there. Well, what do you want? I want to save, motherfucker. So basically, the bird is the one that saves. Thank you, I did not save it for my other game. Woo, thank gosh. Yeah, I'd be very mad if I saved it for that. That took me many, many, many trial and error. Oh yeah, that's right, we can also buy shit, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so we already have a long enough. We already have $545. That's a lot of money for just a little kid. So I'm gonna buy three of those. Buy one of the Medicine, probably buy that. Ballot Rose for Silence. The Heat Slave for Paralysis. Each game has its kind of own way of saying what, uh, well, eh. take the chip with me. So basically, that's your inclination to tell you that you need to go to the cave. To the bear cave! So basically, this world has got many places to visit, but these are just the first two. Wow, luckily for a second, the cave is better than no one from the village is alive here. What am I doing? Okay, you know. So basically, you press square to open up the bomb to heal Barry. So, there's that. No trespassing. I basically, I can both this time if I wanted to. Now this game, I forgot to tell you, it's got, it's got battles. So, what I'm doing, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out battles. So they'll save time. But I mean, I won't cut them out, so we see new enemies, of course. Sweet, I got two dollars. Wow. It's more than I make. I'm just kidding. No, I, I make I make plenty of money. There's a lot of you on hold with this. So basically here's your menu here, you got your items. You can arrange it. You got your magic, which technically we have an arms, which we can use bullets. This is our equipment. Of course your right hand holds your weapon, your left hand holds your item. Oh shoot. Uh hold on, wait a minute. Let's fix the screen there. There we go, sorry about that. Alright, so then we got yet your body, which is your armor, your head, which is your also your armor, and then your rune, which is something we'll explain later on when we actually get a rune. Just move it over a little bit so I can actually press the button. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that again. And then you have all this, which is not very important, and we just continue down here. This will probably be another. Uh, this might be the same enemy, actually. Oh, yeah, it is, okay. So, in these battles, since, well, I mean, since we are starting out, I'll just explain everything. So basically this, which I don't know what that means, this means uh, whoever wants to go first, second or third, your armor, or if you can run away. So this is your arm lock on, which means that I'll get a better range, defend, or use an item. And the fist obviously means attack. Means, not means, I'm sorry. And then you win, of course. And then your experience at Gala and whatnot, and you can, enemies can drop items. And the more tough they become, the better stuff we'll get. This is not important whatsoever. And there's also chests. 50 Gala, $50, wow. So I'll probably pause it for this. And see, just like that, I'm back. So it's basically going to be like that for a lot of the game. Well, a good portion at least, I should say. Hey, look, another chest. The 50 Gala, $391. I'm freaking rich, dude. Do not show the sign danger ahead, leave now. No thanks, I'm good. Ooh, hit the positive again, sweet. All right, the power of editing. I'm basically just pausing it, actually. There's no magic. I mean, I guess you could. You could. Oh, don't pull the lever yet, because you gotta pull up. Uh, 
basically what I wanted to say was, got to blow up this, so then, then you can do this. Get out of the hell out of this place. Another thing to mention, there's also save points in this game. Be quiet for Sesame Way Bats. Thanks. Put down seven bombs at one time. This might be a new enemy, I'm not sure. I think there's a new enemy. Nope. Just the same fucking enemy. It does take a while to build up levels in this game, I've noticed. There we go. If we ever look Royal Long. Roll. Oh. So that's why. Because it's about to fall around, which means that you're cursed. The holy symbol removed the curse of the curse of bats. As you can see there. The curse symbol, I'm not quite sure what that actually means. But it means something. It sure does mean something. I'm not sure though. I forgot to mention that you can also run into you can also run into more than one enemy here. Ow. That hurt. Yeah, you can run into more than one enemy here. So that's cool. Rinse and repeat. Alright, so here's another instance of a new enemy, a goblin. Basically, they'll shoot. Uh, okay, well, they are a little stronger, actually, as you can see. They go from 3 to 11 damage. This could be a little tough, but I believe 2 hits. Yeah, 2 hits is enough to take them out. Or 1 hit, if you're, if you're lucky. And yeah, they do give a huge boost of golden experience. Well, not a huge boost, but it's, it's like. It's like 9 gold better. That's pretty good, I guess. So, anyways, got a heal berry in that chest. Or in that. In that uh, oh, wait, yeah, I get a box soul. So basically, what we gotta do is, before we go down there, is this over here with a apple? Oh, no, just another heal berry. Yeah, heal berries. Come around those a lot of the time. What we gotta do is, uh, well, I forgot to go up there for a second because I forgot to get something real quick. So I'll go back up there for a second. And, well, so might as well just finish this battle anyways. There we go. Kill them. Did you up a level? Yeah, match one up a level. Sweet. So with each level, you, your defense and stuff increases like as you can see. Our, our health points just went up by 40. So I forgot, if you go over here, you can use the bomb, blow up the rocks, and you'll get three chests. With a power apple, a hardy apple, an agile apple. So there's one apple that we haven't found yet, and that's the mystic apple. So while we have him... So there we go, we're level 2 now. This is what we're going to do, I believe, is pull the left lever first, and then pull the right one. Bam, you can get yourself inside. And over here is a bullet clip. Now the bullet clip. Supply arms ammo. So meaning your handgun that you use, if you run out of bullets, you can just upgrade it again, so. And here we go, we have a save point. A mystic light em emanates from the seal. Do you want to record your journey? Yes, of course I do. See, it's a lot nicer than the parrot. Our village now turns into barricade. So you know what? It's yeah. I think I'll just end the episode here. This has kind of just been like the tutorial part of the journey. Don't worry, it's gonna get a lot harder than this. There's a lot more stuff to cover. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Definitely stay tuned for that. But anyways, this is gonna be the first episode of Let's Play Wild Arms. So in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and finish off the barricade and see what else happens. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.